I'm just wondering, um, the stop itself, I don't have the video, and I don't know if you reviewed the video. I have the video, and if you want a copy, then you have to um, pay for the copy. Um, I don't recall what the police department charges for that, but I can certainly get you a copy if you have to pay for it. Okay, well, I have the video. <laughs> uh, did you get a chance to view the video? I haven't looked at it yet, no. Okay, well... Okay, it is 11.57 a.m. It is uh, February 18th, 2014, calling Kip Fontaine, managing attorney, Thief River Falls, Minnesota, public defender's office. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Well, that's good. Uh, is Kip Fontaine around? This is Kip. Kip, oh, perfect. This is Terry Nemers. I was I called the Crookston office trying to get a hold of uh, you and found out that you were there, so I'm glad that I got a hold of you. What's your name, sir? My name is Terry Nemers. And um, I have some disturbing information. Um, uh, there's a... A uh, individual, his name is uh, Chad Childress, and I have a couple of letters he sent to your Crookston office, one to a Joel F. Arneson. And are, are you currently a client of one of my attorneys over there? Or? No, 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 no. What the situation is, is um, one of your clients, for one of your attorneys over there, sent me some disturbing information about your office down there. And it appears that uh, that he's being threatened by a police officer, and he's reported that to one of your attorneys. And and uh, the city attorney, uh, Stephanie Harbot, is supposedly um, uh, illegally withholding evidence from him. And he's made all sorts of um, demands of his attorneys to uh, file complaints and uh, file who, motions. Who is, for... uh, who is the client, sir? It is uh, Chad Childress. And I can give you the case number. And how are you related to uh, Chad? I told you I was just just was sent this information. Are you so, a friend or relative or what? Uh, he found my information on the internet and contacted me. His case number is six zero C R one three two one nine five. And um, I've just was speaking to your secretary down there. And um, see, originally Stephanie Harbutt was on the case, and now uh, it appears that the assistant uh, Polk County attorney, Scott Allen Bueller, is now on the case, which I find interesting because I was contacting the county attorney himself, uh, trying to inform him of uh, Mr. Wideseth, asking him to set up an appointment because I had wanted to discuss him uh, about the city illegally withholding public data from me. And then I was, you know, informed of this information, so I wanted to discuss, you know, the city attorney's office and, uh, of course, your office, you know, withholding uh, information, a due process violation from Mr. Childress. And I was getting these really wild and loony responses from Mr. Widesa saying that, you know, he wasn't going to listen to me because it's not his job to investigate crime, which, of course, I have a copy of Prosecution Principles, so... Uh, I informed him that... I, why, did, what do you, why do you say, of course, I have a copy of Prosecution Principles? Why would you have a copy of Prosecution Principles? Well, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I want to know how this system works. I'm a highly intelligent individual, and and I know how the system works. So, you know, I need to know what kind of uh, shenanigans you're going to try and pull and how to counter them with your own books. So, anyhow, and I... You mean shenanigans by the county attorney's office? Well, I, I mean shenanigans by obviously your office because I have signed documents by Chad Childress where your attorneys are willfully refusing to uh, produce exculpatory evidence and public information to Chad to help him defend his case. You're, we, we, you're don't, we don't investigate crimes, nor do we have exculpatory information, sir. Well, okay, not, okay. We get the discovery from the state, and then if we... Um, we have an investigator that will investigate for us, but we don't get, we, I mean, we don't withhold information.
information from our clients. Well, that obviously that's, I already explained to you, I have a signed document with which Chad is accusing your staff of aiding and abetting uh, Stephanie Harbot, who I noticed is, I was informed by your staff, who's married to Corey Harbot, who happens to be one of your public defenders, which, you know, I think is completely hilarious. Who, and of course, why, is that, why is that hilarious? That would uh, well, be funny. Well, funny. Well, I think it's funny because, uh, you know, obviously, um, Corey Harbot is mentioned on one of Chad's letters. He emailed this to him also. Where is so, Chad at right now, sir? I have no idea where Chad is at right now. Chad I'm, Childress. Where's Chad Childress at? I don't have a crystal ball. So how do no, I know? No, but I mean, is he in custody or is he out of custody? Well, you didn't ask that. I would presume, I haven't spoken to him in a while, I would presume he's out of custody, he's not okay, in jail. Okay, here's what I'm going to ask you to do, Terry. Uh, okay, I am... I you am... you don't, you're not an attorney, you're not Chad, we represent Chad, you have Chad give us a call, okay? Thank uh, you. No, I'm not done speaking to you. 